So you're seriously Alwyn? Don't you recognize me? Oh, yeah, of course. Um... It's been a long time since Carneris. Exactly. Those were good times, huh? Except for the spiders. Yeah. <laughs> Alex really saved the day. Gabe would be proud. Thanks, Jed. How do we know where to look? I think we don't know. It's a true adventure. Oh. What do you think the jewels are for? Maybe some kind of magic ritual that protects the whole kingdom. Does King Tabor know magic? I guess we'll find out. Is this what a real quest feels like? The jewels could be anywhere. What is that? It's a magic scroll we can use in fights. Oh, awesome. We should find as many as we can. <laughs> okay. It's a wolf. A dire wolf. Shit, what do we do? I think we have to fight it. Stirring him! Double Feynor's next attack! Burning Blade! Two damage, <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. Ah! Two damage! Ah! I'm still on fire! Stirring him! Double Feynor's next attack! Oh, <clears throat> four damage! One damage to allies? Better be nice to Thanor.
Let's keep going. What do you think this key is for? Maybe it unlocks something in one of these stores. How do we know for sure it's dead? Should we tickle it? Stop it. Be serious. Oh, I must look like such a goofball. So much for being hot. Hot and goofball are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> At least in my book. Can't hide with a ribbon that bright. Found a scroll? Yeah. Sorry, Ryan. It was self-defense. I swung over the top once. No way. Prove it. I'll give you a dollar if you can. I did! I don't have to prove it. I'm gonna tell my mom you called me a liar. <laughs> Do it, dude. I dare you. Let's go to the peach. Hmm. It's cute, right? Peach ice cream cake? I don't know. I want some... Well, now, who do we have here? Thanor the Monster Slayer. And my bard. And what you up to, Thanor? Saving your lives? There's monsters out there. Orcs and minotaurs and such. Be careful. Sounds dangerous. How about a dragon? With a candy treasure hoard, chocolate coins, sugar pearls, gummy jewels? Yes, I love that. Mint chocolate chip for the dragon, topped with Fire cinnamon candies. I'd say you're on fire yourself. Got another scroll. Cool. Aren't I supposed to be the one? Hey, hey, what's all this? Too busy to talk right now. Sorry. Knock him dead. Sorry, did you say she's... Hey, kid, you responsible for that massacre in the Black Lantern? Whoa, there was a massacre? Better check it out. We're like master scroll seekers. Yep. What? Could there be something down the alley? Dang. Why is my dead? Shh, they're here. I should probably drop in on Riley and thank her in person.
Beware of river monster. <laughs> Some kind of snake? I guess. have to fight it. Why wouldn't we? I mean, it's kind of cute, isn't it? And not goofy looking at all. What are you talking about? It's gonna attack. What do you want to do? Was worth a shot. Stirring him, double Feynor's next attack. Burning blade, two damage, <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. Two damage. Ah, I'm still on fire. Stirring him. Double Feynor's next attack. Burning blade. Two damage, <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. Spitting venom. Ah, I'm poisoned. Ah, I'm still on fire. Ow. Poison damage. Stirring him. Double Feynor's next attack. <clears throat> Four damage. <clears throat> Two damage. Ah, I'm still on fire. Ow, poison damage. Untuned cord, <coughs> one damage. <sighs> to you. <clears throat> One to her. Sorry. Worth it. Let's make some ears bleed. Wait, what's that? It's like a dragon scale or something. Maybe it's got magical powers. Let's hang on to it. Yeah. Are you bummed that we had to kill the snake? Nah, it's fine. What happened to the rest of the music?
Okay. We handled the river serpent. Thank you, adventurers. But you should probably clean up that body. Come on. Monster abundances are when you need apothecaries the most. Ah, Disappointed? I thought I would finally get to go in. I bet there's something fun in the record store. You've dealt with the river serpent, huh? More than just talk, are you? Bah! What a thankless life. Being a smith in the age of monsters. Whoa. He's really into this. Everything okay? You seem pretty... Um... Grumpy. I forgot... What did you need again? Sun silver? The components for sun silver. Puh. Bah. What a thankless life. Being a smith in the age of monsters. Please knock twice. Go for it. Monster or mortal? Mortal! Come in. Sorry about the lock. These are dangerous times. Welcome to the Magpie Emporium. Oh, so this is like a magic shop. I'm gonna take a look around a bit, okay? Okay. Let's see what stuff's done to the place. Alex is allowed to think Ryan's hot. I need to get over it. Never seen Steph all twisted up like this before. Surely she knows she's hot too. She's always so confident. The streets used to be full of people. Dude, I hear you, but a combat-based system with no social mechanics is like my fucking nightmare. Are you- Hey, Precious. Where did you come from? Are you the one I've been hearing in the walls? Smartass, there's a cat outside the shop. Dude, I don't know. She doesn't have a collar. Yeah? I'll call Pike, see if anybody's reported their cat missing. Meantime, guess she's coming to work with me, isn't she? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. The streets used to be full of people. The Soul Sapphire's right there, for sale. 10,000 gold? Okay, obviously there's some other way to get this. Why is this 10,000 gold? Was I too generous? It was originally 20,000, but... No, I meant... Never mind. Maybe we can make some kind of deal with her. Would you consider giving us that sapphire? In exchange for... 
something far more valuable. My hand. In marriage. And all of its associated benefits. I'm sure this isn't the first time someone's asked you, given your obvious hotness. Uh, I mean... <laughs> Oh, man. This just got real. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued. But I'm afraid I can't accept. For now. We need the Sapphire right away. It's for a quest to end the Age of Monsters. I've heard there's a magical fish that lives in the River of Sorrows. Bring me back one of its scales, and I'll give you the sapphire in return. One magic fish scale. Impressive. Well, then, here's my end of the bargain. One down, two to go. I hope the other jewels are cheaper. I'd like to try one of those bard instruments, please. You'll need to schedule a private appointment. I'll do that. How does Steph come up with all these names? Wonder if they have drills for this. Spells. Very cute, Steph. Are these spells for sale? To members of the Sorcery Guild only. Sorry. Golems. Animation fee not included. Oh, Steph. As a classically trained bard, I gotta say, this music's not bad. That was a cool store. I liked the instruments. Of course you did. Hey, we found the components of Sun Silver. It's iron, goblin ore, and fire powder. Praise the gods. Of course. How could I forget? Why don't you take that scroll for your kindness? I've no need of it. I saw that, like, right before you picked it up. Okay, you can have the credit. No, I don't care. I'm just saying. Too late. Credit's yours. Riley's doing with the USB. That run felt amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Wow. Good for her. That run felt amazing. I'm 
so proud of myself. Mind if I duck in here a second? I have to, um, renew my bar guild membership. Yeah. Okay. Hey there. <laughs> I could ask Riley how progress is going with the USB. There's a whole tech side to Riley I never knew about. Gabe did though. Any luck with the USB? No, not yet. It's gonna take hours. If we're lucky. Oh. If you want to check it out, it's running on the office computer. But don't touch anything. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for doing this. You don't have to thank me. It's the least I could do for Gabe. And actually, it's kind of fun. I didn't realize you were so good with computers. Is that what you're going to school for? Civil engineering. Or maybe robotics? It's a lot to figure out. Kind of crazy. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about something else. I saw Eleanor at the Black Lantern this morning. <laughs> she probably needed a break from me. I've been nagging her all morning about getting one of those, like, medical alert buttons. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna be four hours away, and she's never lived alone before. How's Mac doing? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, he's around. Probably too embarrassed to show his face. <laughs> he gives me shit every time I see him. I can't get out of this town fast enough. Stay strong. Let's talk later. I'll let you know if I make any progress. Thanks again. God, I took that bus here barely a month ago. Feels like it's been years. I will definitely not touch this. Riley's like 300 pages in. Must be a good book. This is just so nice. For spring festival, these are freaking gorgeous. Sooner or later, Riley's gonna figure out Eleanor's secret. Nice. Thank you. 
I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Troll. Incoming. He's got a soul jewel right there. Oh, oh, oh. you like my belt? Made of human skin. <laughs> what do you think we should do? How about some gold in exchange for your ruby? You've got my attention. How much? Two gold. Th that's it. I'll smash you to bits. Stirring him, double Thanor's next attack. Damage. Healing Serenade. Plus one health to us. <clears throat> Two damage. <sighs> Throwing rock. Ah! Two damage. Healing Serenade, plus one health to us. Huh. <clears throat> Two damage. <sighs> Stunning punch. Oh. Stun. Horrid Disharmony. <clears throat> Three damage. <clears throat> Double slam. Oh, ah. Healing serenade. Plus one health to us. <clears throat> Two damage. <clears throat> Throwing. Rock. Oh. Two damage. Healing Serenade. Plus one health to us. <clears throat> Two damage. <clears throat> Getting there. Okay. That troll was scary. I admit it. Nothing to admit. It's just facts. Being scary definitely lends a battle advantage. That's definitely Ryan under there, right?
Would you rather be scary or good looking? Scary. How come? Because I've already done good looking. Har har. Looks like the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. I just haven't slept. You know? Every time I close my eyes, my brain pulls up all these thoughts. These regrets. So I just lie there, crying and feeling like a horrible person. You mentioned regrets. Can you drill down on that? What is it that you regret? I don't know. I'm not sure of anything right now. Wanna look in here? Yeah. Let's go in. What happened here? Fellow survivors, I see. Are you the bartender here? Nope. Monster ate all of the staff. We'll have to serve ourselves. Do you know what this key is for? Belonged to Barry, the tavern keeper. That's his leg over there. Oh. So, if you want to try all of the locks, I'm sure he won't stop you. Let's see what we can find around here. It's so sweet of Ducky to participate in this. Yes? How did you survive the attack? Well, I'm not proud of it, but I tripped an elderly woman. She had it coming! Stingy dish wench. Want to tell them about our quest? We're on a quest to end the Age of Monsters. So you won't have to live in fear anymore. Are you now? Let me give you something that you may find useful. Thanks. Figures. This would have been real useful back at the river. We're going to keep looking around. Good luck. OK, I think I checked all the compartments. I'm a genius for convincing Steph that my character should be alone behind the bar. All the drinks I want. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. Yes? We're gonna keep looking around. Good luck. Someone knows how to keep Thanor busy. Ugh, 
Rough day for Barry the Tavern Keeper. Fainor! Did you see this? That's got to be it! It's one of the jewels! We've got all three! We can go back to the king now! Yup. Check out what I found in that chest. Nice work, Thanor. All right, back to the park. There was some really interesting stuff in there. To his old self, thank God. What a great kid. Ethan's got a lot of people who care about him. I wish we could go back to the tavern when it's full of people. Oh my God, it's my mom. <laughs> Thaynor, the Monster Slayer, you've come at last. Do you remember me from your past adventures? You're Natheria, the Forest Spirit. You have done well on your quest. The Forest notices. She offers a treasure for you to claim. Look, there. What is that? Skysword. It's the Skysword of Power! It's exactly the same as I drew in the comics! It's got the pincer, and the same grip, and it's got this part for the jewels! How do they do it? Can I really take it? Promise me you'll only use it for good. Helping others and stuff like that. Okay.
A song, if you please. The prophecies fulfilled at last. Now Thanos' might is unsurpassed. I'll take that sword now, and the jewels! Stormrider, the undead! I should have known King Tabor was you all along! You fools! You have collected the jewels I need and brought them right to me! You're wrong. The jewels are now part of the weapon that will slay you. Give them to me! Healing Serenade. Scroll of Healing. Unholy lightning storm! Death to all who defy me! Ah! Horus is harmony. Healing Serenade. Burning Blade! 
blade. wasn't your fault at all it wasn't okay it wasn't Charlotte? Back here. Hey. Thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? Yeah, they just left. I just wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. It was a group effort, but I'm glad I could help. He thinks the world of you, you know. After everything, I think you're sort of a zero. He's sort of mine. How creative he is. You must be so proud of him. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. I think that was mostly about the sword. Maybe. But I think he was happy to see you in his world. <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Charlotte? God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just a lot going on. I don't mind you at all. Do you want to talk about it? You're really sweet, but I'm okay. Thanks for swinging by. I'll see you at the festival. Charlotte, I can tell some- Said no! Fuck, don't you listen? Shit. This was a mistake. Where did that anger come from?
anger is so intense. Maybe there's something here that can tell me why. Gabe, it's your fault. Why would you teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone? It's your fault. Everyone loves you. But I can't look at you without thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. Ryan, it's your fault. You were supposed to protect us. Why couldn't you? She's so angry at everyone around her. But there's something else here. feel this way. When did I become such a fucking monster? Ethan! It's your fault! Why couldn't you just fucking listen? You're angry at him. At Ethan. You blame him. I'm a bad mom, Alex. Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte. I hate my son, Alex. He's sweet, and he's creative, and he's the most important thing in the entire universe to me. And I hate him. For so long, it was just me and him. It took so long to learn how to be okay with that. And I was. But then, Kate. <laughs> I can deal with hating Ryan, or you, or even Gabe. But Ethan, if he had just listened, Gabe would still be alive. It all comes back to that. What you're feeling makes more sense than you think. Your pain matters too. None of it fucking matters! He's dead! <sighs> I wish I were too. This anger could kill her. And nothing I'm saying is helping. What if... I could just... take it away. I can do it. I can take her anger from her. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? I can't. I'm 
sorry, Charlotte. I wish I could do something. That makes two of us. Okay, okay. Hear me out. Is Typhon run by the Illuminati? That would explain the conspicuously triangle-shaped logo. Boom! Finally cracked it. <laughs> hey. Alex. So, how did things go with Charlotte? I don't know. She was hurting so much. I thought I'd be able to help her, but... I couldn't. If you couldn't help her, I'm sure no one could. So please tell me that the USB stick revealed all of Typhon's secrets. Not yet, but Alex. We found a recording of Gabe's call. I should probably listen to that. I need to know. We're here for you, okay? Type in safety. Mac, it's me. Fuck off, Chen. Yeah, yeah, okay, just listen. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit. He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll hold the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever, just doing my job. They just ignored him. <laughs> it's so fucked. You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. You okay? We're taking these fuckers down. This USB stick has what I need. Time to dig through it. Whatever's going on with Typhon, it wasn't worth Gabe's life. Talk about looking for- We're going to get them for you, Gabe. We're going to get them for you, Gabe. A key part of any good investigation Gotta find joy in the little things. Right, Gabe? She's had quite a day. Don't know what I'd do without her. So... How fucked are we? If we can't work it out ourselves, we could just have Ryan seduce the truth out of Diane. You know, that might actually work. <laughs> After what I saw this afternoon, I'm not putting anything past you. Hard to believe we met less than a month ago. Feels like I've known him for years. We're gonna get them, okay? Yeah, I know we will. A cold case and a warm beer. Ryan brought this down from his station, 
hope it comes in handy. This time, I don't think Gabe would mind his little sister messing with his stuff. Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at 8.41 p.m. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. Type in safety. Mac? It's me. Fuck off, Chen. Yeah, yeah, okay, just listen. I need you to... Type in mining. This is Brandon. Hello. I'm calling from the Department of Land and Resources to confirm the inspection set for next week. Yeah, let me grab Diane for you. Thanks. This is Diane. Hi, Diane. I'm calling to... Confirm inspections? <laughs> yes. Did you have a chance to look over the email I sent? I did. Everything looks great. Glad to hear it. I'll see you Thursday then. Mm-hmm. Have a good one. You too. There must be a lot riding on these inspections. This is ACFC. How can we feed you? Is the good pickin' chicken thing still going on? It sure is. Nice. Uh, let me get a large order of the spicy nuggets. Excellent choice. And would you like the biscuit and gravy or the mashed potatoes and gravy? Oof. Uh, okay. I, uh... Sir? Oh, fuck. Um, sorry. Do you, do you need a minute? No. No, no. I'm, uh, gonna go with the bis... Uh, potatoes. Yeah, let's just do potatoes. You could do both for 50 cents extra. Oh my god. You still there? Yeah. No, um... Uh, no, that's okay, just the potatoes. Okay. I've got you down for a large order of spicy nuggets with potatoes. That'll be ready for you to pick up in about 30 minutes. Thanks. That was riveting. Lace Flowers, this is Riley. How can I help you? Hey, Bev, it's me. Mac! Hey! What's up? I'm on lunch. Oh, you're not gonna believe what J-Man did this morning with some of the new dyes. Hey, so I'm not sure about this part here. It's Mac. Is that Gabe? Hey, Mac, can we talk later? I'm kind of busy. Busy how? Let's hang out when you get off, okay? Hold up, why is Gabe there? Okay, talk soon. I love you. Wait, Riley! Oh, Mac. Hi, Belts Plumbing. How can I help you? Hi, I'm, uh... I'm of Typhon Mining. I think we had one of your plumbers up here last week. Typhon Mining. Uh, give me just one second to check our records. Yes, I have a record of a service call regarding some sewage backup. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, so, um, I don't think it's fixed. The field report I have says that the issue was diagnosed and solved. Can you describe what you're seeing? Oh, uh, it, you know, I, I really can't. Look, can you just send someone? I'll have someone out to you later this afternoon. Great. Have a nice day. Yeah, I doubt it. Nasty. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hi, Diane. It's Rose, down at Town Hall. Hey, Rose, how are you? Oh, I'm busy as a bee this time of year. You have a second? Some folks have come in here with some questions about the expansion and all that. I was hoping you could give me some answers to pass along to them. I'll do my best. What are the questions? Let's see here. Okay, first question... How many jobs do you expect to create by opening a second pit? We'll be starting with 25 new positions, but that number is expected to grow to 45 within the first year. Oh, give me just a moment here to jot that down. Alrighty, next up. A uh, number of questions regarding risks for pollution. Water, air quality, etc., etc. Anything you can offer there? You know, let me pass that on to our environmental outreach department. They'll get back to you with all the relevant fact and figures. Oh, sure, sure. No problem at all. And last one. They want to know if there will be more mining vehicles driving through town. Yes, we will be increasing our transportation needs somewhat with the expansion. But to minimize disturbance, we plan to direct drivers to stick to approved trucking routes. And of course, never after 6 o'clock. Never after 6. Thanks so much, Diane. That's all I have for you right now. My pleasure. Have a good one, Rose. You too. Diane is really good at pretending to be a person. Typhon Mining, this is Brandon. Hello. I'm calling from the Department of Land and Resources to confirm the inspection set for next week. Yeah, let me grab Diane for you. Typhon Safety. Mac? It's me. Lena, it's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. 
I know I don't need to remind you of the state. Someone could be hurt. Or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. What the hell is Rhea? Must have been pretty damn important. Maybe Diane says more about it in her email? Maybe. Let me see if I can find it. Lena. Hello, Diane. Is it safe to assume you've gotten your emotions under control? My emotions? Someone was killed last night because of a decision you made. I think... I would be very careful with what you say next. Who do you think is more at risk here? Me or you? Excuse me? Now, of course, we're all committed to helping you make it through this difficult period. We don't want to see anyone be scapegoated over an unavoidable accident, right? Right. Great. Then you and I are aligned. Who else knew there were people in the mountains? Just my safety manager, Mac. He got their distress call just before I contacted you. Do you trust him? I... I think I can convince him to be trustworthy. Good. Good. Only one point of contact, and you've got him handled. I think we're going to make it through this just fine. Speak to you soon. Okay. I refuse to feel bad for Diane and all this, but... damn. H&B Investigations. Bennett speaking. Hi, Bennett. This is Diane Jacobs. Lena told me... Yep. Been expecting your call. Okay. I'm not sure what the next step is. Just need all the pertinent information on the employee in question. Name, number, address, significant others. We'll handle the rest. I see. Just come by the office. My secretary will take everything down. No records that you were even there. Got it. Okay. I'll come by tomorrow. Looking forward to it. It's so gross that Typhon has people watched. H&B Investigation. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hello, Diane. My name is Rory Praha. I'm a journalist with the Rocky Mountain Gazette. We'll be printing a story on last night's accident in the paper tomorrow. Would you like to provide a comment? Yes, I would. Last night's accident was tragic, and made all the more unfortunate by the fact that it could have been avoided with a simple phone call. A simple phone call? Can you speak more about that? Of course. Typhon always has a safety manager on duty. One quick call from Mr. Chen to our 24-hour emergency line would have alerted us that there were people in the danger zone, and we could have reacted accordingly and stopped the blasts. Are other Haven citizens in danger of meeting the same fate as Gabe Chen? Absolutely not. As long as you heed the warning signs, you will be safe. And if you ever do find yourself in an emergency, that's what our emergency line is for. There's no danger whatsoever. All right. We'll be sure to include your comments. Thanks for giving me your time, Diane. Have a nice day. I almost threw up listening to that. Same. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Diane, it's, uh, it's Jason. Hello, Deputy. You have good news for me? I suppose I do. You are officially cleared to continue regular operation. The county no longer considers your pit an active crime scene. Well, that's a huge relief. Now... To be clear, the investigation is still open and active. Typhon hasn't been cleared of anything yet. Sure, I understand. But can we start mining again? Yes, you can start mining again. Is there anything else? Nope. No, nope, that's it. Well, thanks for the call. Yeah, no problem. Take care, Diane. You too. Seems a lot easier to get away with murder than you'd hope. Typhon mining. Diane? Oh, hey, Joe. How are you? I'm good. Doing real good. So I have a pretty good list of candidates to go over with you. Looks like I've got 40 names. Great work. When can we go over it? Uh, hey, Diane, can I be candid for a moment? Please. It's just, well, we've all been following the news, and I don't know, after that accident. Joe? I just want to be sure there really are positions waiting for these people. There's nothing to worry about. If you have qualified candidates to show me, I have jobs to offer them. Glad to hear it. You free Tuesday afternoon? Around three? Sure. Great. Looking forward to it. Me too. See you later, Joe. I hope Typhon has a nice severance package.
Who would have thought getting away with murder would be so... bureaucratic? And I thought above-ground mining was terrifying. Too bad money can't fix all of Typhon's problems. Wait, does this mean someone at Typhon feels actual human emotion? No, I'm not buying it. He's talking about it like it's a sure thing. Damn, is this what Diane sold her soul for? What a polite way of saying, I control you and don't forget it. Situation? You mean that guy you killed? This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? Rhea went off undetected. Was there a second blast that night? They only had permits for one. What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea would be discovered? Shit. The blast that killed Gabe was just a cover for another explosion? We didn't hear another explosion, though. It must have gone off somewhere else. If we can find out where it was, that might tell us what it was for. I guess Mac was right to be so paranoid. Holy shit. Mac's real name is John? It feels wrong to be looking at this. And yet, I can't look away. Fuck. They saw that? This is about Rhea. But it doesn't tell me where it was. That's exactly the same time the blast that killed Gabe went off. The expected hall was left blank. No permit? That's gotta be illegal, right? Do all corporations use supervillain code names? Or just the evil ones? No notes. Cause you can't document a call you claim never happened. Diane has dossiers on the entire Haven Council. That's not creepy at all. Typhon knows about Eleanor's dementia. Shit. It won't be so secure once we tell Jed what really happened that night. I knew that affidavit gave me a bad feeling. Poor Ducky. I didn't know. What? Pike has a... Okay, bigger fish to fry right now. This is Rhea. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Wait, they set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? That shaft was exhausted years ago. There's nothing left to dig up. What could possibly be down there that's so important to them? Typhon just had to pass a bunch of inspections at the old site, didn't they? Yeah, so? So, I don't think they were digging something up. They were burying something. <laughs>